Well, hello everyone. Welcome to our preview of the Browns and Indianapolis Colts Sunday at First Energy Stadium. And boy, does this promise to be a game for the ages. The 7-5 Browns, the 8-4 Colts. If the Browns lose this game, they can almost kiss their playoff chances goodbye. Not for sure, but this is a huge game, Tom. Yeah, and then you, on top of all that, you got the homecoming. Is this the Indianapolis Browns or the Cleveland Colts? I mean, the, the, the mix of the, the players just adds to the, to the intensity level and the, and the desperation level for these teams. That's for sure. You've got Josh Cribb saying that he wants to jump into the dog pound. You've got Trent Richardson saying that he wants to try to jump into the dog pound. Now, Dequell Jackson, he's smart. He says he will not try to yeah. jump into the dog pound, but of course he'll try to make some big plays. Yep. Mike Adams is coming back. And uh, even Chuck Pagano, I'm sure people probably remember, he was here as an assistant uh, at one point. So it's old home week for the boys. Yeah, and you know Chud wants to, you know Chud would love to kind of end their playoff hopes to this week too. So there's so much, there's so much intrigue. It, there really is. You know what, when I look at this game though, I think when I look at all of those guys, the number one player uh, that we're talking about, I think it's Josh Cribbs that could be the most dangerous of those former Browns coming back into Cleveland Browns Stadium and trying to take one to the house. Absolutely, you know they're trying to get Billy Cundiff's leg jacked up to make sure it goes out of the end zone, because if it doesn't, it's coming back. And you have to think the same way with the punt. The Browns have been excellent covering punts all year, but Josh Cribbs is a dangerous returner, boy. And you know what? He loves to play with the chip on his shoulder. He loves to play angry, and the Browns did not sign him. He sat around here waiting for that phone to ring. It never did. I think they should have signed him. You probably think so, too. I mean, Mary Kay, the, the stat is that, that in two games, Josh Cribbs has returned 62 yards in punts. In 12 games, the Browns as a team have returned 77 yards in punts. Yeah, it's pretty sad. It's not the uh, return game that we're used to seeing around here, and I'm sure uh, that hasn't gone unnoticed by Chris Tabor, the Browns special teams coach, uh, who still is pretty close to Josh Cribbs. But uh, then you've got Trent Richardson. Trent has not been playing very well, uh, doesn't have very much production at all over the last uh, several games or so, but he's coming in here saying he's going to play this game like it's his last. Yeah, and it's his terrific theater. Again, you just you couldn't ask for all these different catalog of talking points. It's fantastic. And again, on, on top of this, it's a must-win game for the Browns. When's the last time, Mary Kay, you covered a must-win game for the Browns in December? Probably in 2007. So <laughs> yeah. it's been about seven years. Yep. Uh, so the other things to look at, uh, when you can see, I think that's Josh Cribbs going down the field right now. <laughs> it might be Josh somebody, but I don't know. What to... <laughs> um, anyway, so um, there are so many storylines to this game, not the least of which it's almost a homecoming for Andrew Luck, too. His father played at St. Ignatius, so uh, he's got a lot of family here. This is always a big game for him, and he is just playing lights out this season. Player of the month uh, in the AFC, This, I mean, to me, of these young quarterbacks, he is the best one, and I and I say that knowing that Russell Wilson won a Super Bowl. I think Luck is fantastic. He, he really gives you a little bit of everything. Obviously, he's a more of a drop back passer, but he's nimble enough. We've seen him get out of uh, out of trouble with his feet. I, I can't say enough about him. I think he's the best young quarterback in the NFL. And he's got a ton of weapons to throw the yeah. ball to. It's going to be a huge challenge for Joe Hayden, Buster Screen. K1 Williams and the boys against T.Y. Hilton, Reggie Wayne. Boy, oh boy, these guys get open and they catch the football. Yeah, I, I, you, they're the type of team that the NFL loves. High scoring, exciting games, and the Browns are going to have to find ways either to match that or get the running game going where they kind of can keep Indianapolis off the field for stretches. And then you have the uh, AFC Defensive Player of the Week, Dequel yeah. Jackson, ready to get in there and try to stop Isaiah Crowell. And Terrence West and the guys. So uh, this is going to be one heck of a matchup. And uh, again, the Browns are going to have to score some points to keep pace with this offense. Yeah, it's going to be a great game. And, you know, uh, I'm sure the Browns love having it at home. And they want to keep those some of those guys out of the dog pound, Mary Kay, because they said they're going there. That's right. And uh, like Jim O'Neill said, he's sure that if they jump in, the dog pound will have the appropriate response. So they're counting <laughs> on you. And that's it from our Browns Colts preview in Berea.